Well, the one thing I like to say is that, and I'm not alone in this, but I'm one of the few who accepted the city as a, a vi viable place for, to work and to enjoy the, the diversity of the people who use, who can use you know, the, the, the places that are created for them. That I really think is maybe, if, if there's anything, it's, it's that. It's the city, enjoying the city, taking landscape architecture away from this preconceived notion that the city is a hostile place. Yeah? And to me, the city is where we're going next. It's, it, it turns out to be the salvation, by the way. If you're going to preserve the larger landscape, the city is the only way. Density is the only way. Yeah. That's it. What I represent is history, 50 years, the last 50 years. Those are seminal years. Those are extremely important years. Things have changed dramatically in those years, and that's what I don't think most people understand. Because you look at the past in relation to the present, and there was no present at the time that these were done. Okay? You didn't know the geometries, the vocabulary, the way of the places you worked even didn't, ex you know, didn't exist before you. And we're at a point now where we've explored a lot of these. We still haven't perfected. The, everything we did at the time were based on innovations because there was nothing, there was no precedent. Now you've got some degree of precedent. Where do you carry it? And this is something I'm curious about. Do you repeat it? Is this the end? Is, is where, where can we go with this? Landscapes that define our culture are, in, are important and should be preserved as we do objects of art and uh, buildings that are important. I think that we want to be able to use those not just to study, but to enjoy what people enjoyed. You go to a, a villa in France and you walk through a garden of you know, the Notres and you realize it was another way of expressing a culture, not one that we can you can enjoy it without having to be that culture. Okay? You can also see the monumentality of its time and the, the, you know, the importance and the, the power of the, of the aristocracy. So I think that there is something that, in, that we gain by going back, a castle as well as a landscape. So I think that there, but there again, I think that culture, not everything is cultural. But I don't think everything that I do should be preserved. I think Reese should have been because it does have a meaning in terms of the way space, you know, the potential for space to be used. So I think cultural landscapes are landscapes that are products of a particular time and place. More than that, I don't know.